Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! All wings! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I just decided to make this uh, off the cuff, as it were. We're playing the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, and actually been enjoying myself quite well. Um, <laughs> I think this I've I've been I played the Lego Star Wars games back in the day. I was a big fan of them. I like Lego. I like Star Wars. Uh, the only downside is it makes me want to you know buy some Star Wars Legos, <laughs> and they're expensive. But regardless. Um, the uh, Skywalker Saga is an entirely new game. It's not just a compendium of previous ones, so it's it's all new stuff, and uh, it covers all nine feature films. That's the the main campaign, um, which is a first ever. The Lego Star Wars games. We got the original trilogy. They did the uh, prequels, but they never did do the uh, the what you call it the the sequels trilogy. They did The Force Awakens and that was it. That was our last Lego Star Wars game for a long time. And this game took a long time in development. Finally came out. It does have some bugs. There's definitely some uh, some frame drops here and there, especially during cutscenes for some reason. But, uh, I mean, gameplay seems to generally run very smooth. I haven't encountered any uh, glitches as of yet, major or otherwise. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I've made it up to episode through episode two, obviously. Um, so I'm still just getting started. Uh, it's it's definitely a little different than the old games. I can see where some of the criticism comes from that uh, the levels are short, and they are short. They're very short levels. Nothing compared to even to the old Lego Star Wars, which are pretty old in terms of Lego games, um, and they're not nearly as involved as they used to be. There's just not as many puzzles or platforming, it's pretty much just smash this, you know, this group of mobs, move on to the next one. Occasionally a very simple puzzle here or there, uh, definitely nothing compared to the old games, but uh, to leave it there is to disregard the rest of the gameplay, because that's just really scratching the surface. The, the What they chose to focus on, and it might not have been the right decision, but it's what they chose to focus on is actually the open world aspects. Uh, a lot of free roaming in this game. You travel from one planet to the next in the galaxy, you can pilot any number of ships from the series, there's a ton to unlock, and uh, they all control a little differently, they have different weapons. So that's a lot of fun. And you do get to explore these areas, and they are massive. There's tons of secrets hidden. Uh, lots of little puzzles, I would say. You know, instead of getting like a few major puzzles in the single-player stuff, you get a ton of little ones in the free roam. I guess you could call it kind of a uh, Ubisoft approach to Star Lego Star Wars. You know, big open world, um, lots of little puzzles to do. You know, lots of stuff to unlock, lots of challenges, and of course you get your usual stuff, uh, challenges from the single-player missions. What ones are there, and of course, after you're completing the missions, you can replay them in what they call a free play, where you can use whatever characters you want. Uh, they do have a lot of mounts, which is really cool. You get to you can drive all kinds of vehicles, and in addition to like I mentioned, starships, and there are levels for starships as well. Uh, there's actually quite a bit you can do with starships in this game, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's not just the pod racing, you know. So, and, and the cutscenes, of course, they're fully voiced, but you do have the option of going back to the mumbles if you want. And it does have that, as you can see, the Lego sense of humor attached. And that's really what I was looking forward to a lot with this, this single player here. You know, uh, getting to hear, and the voice actors, a lot of them are from the Clone Wars TV show, so you'll recognize quite a few of them. They're very good, and it is pretty funny uh, getting to hear these serious voice actors going through these comedic cutscenes. You know? Um, <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun so far, and that is what I was looking forward to, like I was saying. One of the things that, uh, I like Star Wars, but it is kind of ups and downs, especially with the movies, and one of the things Lego Star Wars always did was it made even the worst parts of the movies more enjoyable, because there's gameplay to, to tie you up into and get you immersed, and that made you want to play, you know, and, uh, the comedy kind of lightened up the more dramatic parts that could kind of drag the films down. And, uh, and it made a more enjoyable prod, uh, product overall, I think. Uh, it's a lot of fun 
I still like, you know, the films, of course, and the TV shows and all that, but it is, sometimes you just want to have some fun with some Star Wars, you know? <laughs> and that's definitely what you get here. But like I said, the focus is different. It's on the free roam this time, the exploration, finding all the secrets, um, not your usual Lego game, or what I should say in comparison to the classic Star Wars Legos, because Lego's been moving towards this, the Telltale games, uh, for a while. They're, uh, they've been leaning more and more into the free roam. And this game, they've gone all in, really kind of Mass Effect style, uh, with the traveling between worlds and all that. And uh, it's, it is interesting, but it is also different. I think I would have preferred a longer single-player game and longer levels, more complicated levels, rather than having all this free roam, per se. But the free roam is still fun. It's still immersive. And it's, it's always fun to get to explore the Star Wars universe a little bit. That's something we haven't gotten in a lot of the games lately. Uh, so it's, it's fun to see that stuff come back. And... Um, And yeah, it, it is obviously it's a very abridged version of the the films, even more so than the classic games were. But people also forget the classic games were designed uh, three films at a time. You know, you had your original trilogy, you had the prequel trilogy, and like I said, they stopped there, and that was it. So to get nine films in one product is three times the workload that they're used to there, and uh, so naturally it's going to be even more condensed. Unfortunately, as far as I know, there's no plans for story content DLC-wise, so we're not going to get like little bonus chapters like the, the side stories like Solo or Rogue One. We're probably not going to get any single-player content for Rebels or, um, sorry, Clone Wars. Though to be honest, those shows could easily make their own titles. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd like to see them take this approach and do a Clone Wars game focusing on the Clone Wars TV show. You got seven seasons, you can easily make a full game out of that and probably still have stuff left over, you know? Um, and then I would like to see them do, uh, not necessarily a Rebels game, but like a Rebellion era, I would call it, where uh, you can take different properties for that one. Where you could have the Rebels series, you could also have, um, sorry, whatchamacallit, the Solo and Rogue One movies could be adapting into that as well, uh, along with the Bad Batch, the one season we got of that, you know, so that, that could all make for a very good, because it's all timeline related, you know, it all connects together. If they wanted to, they could even do Lego adaptions of other games, I wouldn't complain. Uh, so I'd like to see more games like that, I'd like to see a Rebellionary game, I'd like to see a Clone Wars game, it'd be great. Um, but I don't know the kind of negative feedback they've gotten. This is probably going to be the last LEGO Star Wars game for a while again. Maybe for the better. Uh, if so, that means that when they do come back, and inevitably they will, uh, I, I assume, that it would be with probably more single-player focused gameplay and less free roaming. So, it's, it's a make of it what you will. I still have a lot of fun playing it. I'm looking forward to really digging into this one. Um, I've, I've finished a lot. I've completed a lot of LEGO Star Wars. I've never 100% of them, you know. I've only just finished the stories. So, it'd be nice to actually dig in and try to unlock everything for once, you know. I think I'll enjoy that aspect of this game. Although, only time will tell. But for now, it's a lot of fun. Uh, gameplay's good. Cutscenes are great. They're hilarious. The voice acting is great. Um, characters are great. It's just a fun game. It's a fun game to play. That's the most I can say. It just does have a different focus, like I said, with the open world thing. So if, if you're really stuck on the, the single player levels that stick to the old games, I guess, uh, they're probably, I don't see them necessarily going back to that formula. They, they seem to like open world formula. They've been working towards it. So I, I expect this to be about where this is going to go. Okay. Um, until next time, this is Harry Grimm signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been busy lately, uh, but in a month or so, I should be back to producing content regularly for you guys. Until then, take it easy. Catch you.